The sun dances along the ocean top. Shallow waves lap the rocky shore. The pier looks picturesque in this lighting. A perfect day to soak up the beauty of Vancouver Island. Today we're going on a beach exploration. We're going to go see what kind of critters we can find. Shaw Ocean Discovery Center's Tina Kelly has coined it a safe and ethical beach walk. Basically, it means safety for both us as the beachgoers and for all critters we may see along the way. Tide pools are great places to look for different organisms. Um, sometimes you have to have a very good eagle eye and look a bit under the rocks in the shadows. We have a bit of a low tide today, not low enough to spot a sea star, but we did discover a few bugs, a mossy chitin, some limpets, a whole whack of seaweed, baby sea anemones, and a few other tide dwellers. Here's a, a living barnacle versus a dead one. You can see its shells are closed up. If the water was covering that, it would be open and it would be eating. By going on a beach walk and really exploring what's typically covered by water gives you a whole different understanding and perspective of what we live so close to. But Tina warns this luxury will only last as long as we're caring for our oceans. So we want to remember to reduce, reuse, recycle, um, repurpose, upcycle, all those kind of catchphrases that we might hear out and about. She says it's the simple tasks that go a long way, so picking up litter, practicing sustainable harvesting, avoiding harmful fertilizers and keeping chemicals out of the drains. I think uh, we've done an awful lot of uh, damage that I don't think we even understand how much damage we've done. If we uh, pollute the ocean, what will happen to us? We will go downhill very fast. It's this kind of thinking that gets people out, taking action, protecting our oceans, one walk at a time. Our ocean is the most important feature we have in our life, and we have to take care of it. If the beach is too much of a stretch for you, the Shaw Ocean Discovery Center has an indoor touch pool that replicates the Salish Sea's intertidal zone. Just another way for us, no matter what age, to learn the importance of respecting marine life. Something that's really, really easy for everybody to do, uh, incorporate into their daily lives, is just share their knowledge. So if they learn something, a new environmental message, um, a new thing that they can do, share it with your friends and family. Is that fun? You can touch the starfish, look at the baby starfish. It's a really easy thing to do is just to spread the word of what you have and that's what education is about. Inside of the center people have written promises on post-it notes. Things like, I promise to only use one paper towel and I promise to love all of the whales and I promise to not litter. Now it's my turn to make a promise. I promise to take care of the ocean. In Sydney, I'm Jen Moranitz, discovering our Salish Sea.